Okay, welcome back to the podcast. Annie, yep. we just got back from March break. How was your trip? The trip was great. We actually don't travel too much as our own family. Like I find we go away a yeah. lot as a big group yeah. um, or with friends. And it was really nice. Well, actually the second half of our trip, we were with friends, but we spent a week together just as our family. Yeah. And it was lovely. Really? It was really nice. It was nice. Um, That's so cute. Any big fights or any account of like, you know, good stories? Yeah, um, no. It was nothing, just a peaceful nice vacation. Well, no, it wasn't peaceful. My kids are insane and they fight like cats and dogs and it's crazy, but it was just nice to be together. That's um, fair. But the one thing I actually, and I was going to ask you this because I feel like your family, they unpack right away. Are you, do you want, yeah. you want, like your mom, if she gets home at three in the morning. Oh, home at night. Uh, do you know, I know what I mean? When you get to a hotel room, home at night. It, it, that's a timing issue for me. If I get if I get home in like a morning, I never really do. But if it's a before like a one p.m. and you know if I haven't done shit to my bag all day, I feel pretty useless. You unpack if, within twenty four hours. If I'm strolling in at like twelve, yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna be hard on myself. Got, grab my cosmetics, head upstairs. You know it depends. But at a hotel room, I will say. Oh, right away. At, when you get to a hotel, come on. It's like yeah. there's nothing more satisfying than getting all your stuff organized, looking at your outfits, products, shit lined up. I hate, I feel like every hotel gives you like two hangers. It's every hotel, yeah. they, they're, I don't understand that. Well, maybe people just don't have as much clothes as you do. <laughs> or maybe. No, but they're, they're, every hotel, it's, know, like it's like three, three hangers. Three. Yeah. It's really fucking annoying. Anyways, I brought that up because Benji's bag is still not unpacked and we've been home for a week. And that's very Ooh. un -Levy like I feel like Marla... I don't know. Yeah. It's very unusual. Yeah. I wouldn't unpack my bag right away. Would Sarah? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. I would not though. I, it would be sitting there just for be sitting at, least, there. at least two days. I think it's impressive how you travel so much as a family because I just think about my family. Like we don't, we never really traveled together growing up and I just could, can picture us now going on a vacation. I feel like after day three, like we're, we're, we hate each other. You're done. Like we, we can't stand each other. And there's always this attitude where it's, yeah, you can go off and do your own thing, but it just never happens. It's like, you're still just like stuck together. And you're like, really? Because you have the whole day booked. <laughs> yeah. And it's, and it's, it's like, yeah, we could do that. But then there's like, then you just feel bad that you went off and did something on your own. So I think it's something to be said that you guys can travel together and it works. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely a lot. And, and the kids fight. Like my kids really fight. It's also, we have kids in the equation. You know, oh, yeah. So that's a little bit different because the kids are a lot of the dynamic. It's like we're just like babysitting all day long. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, when we travel, the, the big you know, family unit together. Right. Like everyone's yes. kind of like because and that and that also then divides the family units a bit given the circumstances. But yes, yeah, like we haven't gone on just like an adult trip in a long time. That would yeah. be different. You know, like there's yeah. when there's not little ones. How, how would that go? Well, it's happening actually kind of soon. Yeah, for for John's seventieth. Um, and I, I, you know what? It's I think we all. We're all, all pretty fun. chill. We have fun together. We're all pretty chill. And I feel like it's it's a week. Yeah. And so everyone has a good time together. I think what's nice about the kids, which is kind of like why we've, so we found like a crew who we start traveling with now with their kids. And the more kids you have, the less work it is because they just like go off and do their own thing, which is why I think it's so nice when we travel together. It's like my kids are obsessed with your kids. Right. And it's, they just kind of like yeah, diffuse, it's camp. This, they yeah. diffuse the situation. Where like when it's just my family alone, it's amazing, but it's still right. a lot because it's like my kids. Only yeah, have like each Gemma other. needs to go fuck off and take care of Wes to leave Romy alone to read a book. Exactly. You know? like Everyone be, has yeah, a little to... person that they kind of take Truthfully, care of. Like who wants to be around people that much? It's a lot. Like you know, like everyone needs some alone time. You know, it's really nice. I I, I, I can go one day with someone. And I hate them. <laughs> like, would you Would you travel yeah, alone? Would you travel so alone? Similar. Yeah, I would. Would you travel alone, Annie? Where? I, I'm not, not like Vegas, like <laughs> a spa, maybe. No, there's certain places. Once again, I think I would. Yeah, there's certain places I would. I'm not. I'm not like backpacking somewhere and like Alone. staying in like some questionable accommodations. Like if I'm going by myself, but I'm also kind of living the high life, then absolutely I would do it. Right. Yeah, I feel like like. Yeah, I like might go somewhere to meet someone and then do a day here. I would feel comfortable doing yeah. that. I wouldn't do like a week in Barcelona solo. I think I would love to travel alone. You would. I, well, I you were just waiting for that. No, I was. I was. I would absolutely. That was a full out, Barbara. Yeah, yeah, you are. Would you? Know, you were like. <laughs> 
I was ready for it. I can't wait to watch that one back on YouTube. I'm I would excited. love yeah. to travel alone. <laughs> okay, so you would. What would you do? Just drink wine all day and shoot the shit by yourself? Meet people. I, I you think, would meet, oh, here's yeah. a Janice in you. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 so listen, sometimes I'm in the mood for that. Sometimes I am not in the mood for that. Yeah. Like, it's rare you're like randomly beside someone really cool. And I'm not uh, that you'd like want to talk for more than a no, but just like a quick meet, a quick, a quick chat. Oh, yeah, a quick chat. I have quick chats with everyone, but that's like not that's going to fill your day. Quick no, but I'm also happy being alone. I have no problem. I don't think I go to like a restaurant in Toronto alone, but I feel like I'd be OK in a safe enough city traveling alone. I wouldn't have any issues. I don't well, know. You're a busy gal. You probably just need that alone time. Yeah. Maybe you need to get away. Yeah, I suck at making friends. I wouldn't I don't think I'd make that many friends, but yeah. I would go eat at a restaurant by myself. You would. 100 percent Would you be on your phone or would you just kind of like look around? Uh probably a little mixture. Yeah. A little mix, yeah, yeah. for sure. If you didn't all look at your phone once, I'd be creepy. I have a bit of a staring problem though. Like oh. I like people watch, but I feel like sometimes I like take it too far. Like I don't know. How, I don't know how to, that sounds creepy, but like No, it doesn't. Me and my friend do that in cars all the time, and I'm like, I'm like Alex, stop looking. She's like, you too, you creep. Like, we'll literally be like, Ugh. like, like, what are we looking like at? Like looking at people in the I, other I, car? I, anything. If it's a like good looking person, a girl, mm. like just like something, a funny dog. Like I stare, I just do it. I don't realize I'm doing it sometimes. And I, I wear sunglasses a lot, Ryan. Helps. Oh. Throw the shades on. Yeah. Especially, especially in the car. If especially if you're alone at a restaurant. Like, shouldn't be advertising Is, is that, that weird? Maybe like, they're ahead. I think on. it just depends who you're okay. glaring at. What? I think also, it just depends who you're staring at. I take at. that back. It's cool to eat a lot. What am I saying? I'm a loser that'd be like on my phone like, ah, I wonder if anyone thinks about that. But that's why I'm saying I think a lot of people probably don't have the confidence to eat alone, to not be on your phone or read a book. That was like in that episode of Sex in the City where Carrie Bradshaw just like, she just goes to a restaurant. She doesn't bring anything and she just goes with confidence. Yeah, it's a little boring though. I'd like want to talk, to call a friend. There you go. But if you go yeah. by yourself, are you like almost inviting people to come yeah, like, like okay, talk yeah, to exactly. you? Yeah, exactly. What's the purpose of right. being alone? Yeah. Is it to be actually in solitude and be like, don't talk to me? Or are you, are you inviting? Yeah. Are you looking to make a night of it? Like on a solo trip, what would you want? I think it depends on the night. I feel like some nights I would night. just want to be alone. And other nights it's like you kind of want to go out and do your thing and maybe meet people. I would think you were a fucking sketch if I saw you in a Mexico resort traveling by yourself. I'd be like, What's her story? She just killed someone. Like, why is she here alone? Where's she looks like this? She's no, I, cute. But like I that. think we should, but I think we have to normalize then being doing things on your own a bit. I think that's okay. Listen, not babe, being on I your love, phone. I not love, bring, I, I'm all for that. But I just mean if I I, I it would be hard pressed to find psycho. you. It'd be hard pressed mm -hmm. to find you in Mexico for a week solo. Well, what what if I went to Barcelona for a week touring? Barcelona. <laughs> I don't know. How do you say it? Why do people, I know it's Barcelona? <laughs> That's how you I think it's that it's the Catalan <laughs> like that's Bar but do they say any other letters like that or any other times when there's a I don't know <laughs> not even <laughs> like is that consistent or is it just in Barcelona <laughs> is it just in that Barcelona <laughs> okay we have a really good advertiser yeah you've been a fan of this brand forever you introduced it to me I mean I've never met a fruit I don't like obsessed actually I, I, that's not true is there a fruit you don't like papaya bye papaya uh, papaya is a very a it's a very controversial fruit papaya it's a very weird consistency I'm like get that slimy it's shit slimy. out of my mouth but it's yeah. it is it's a pretty color I'll give it that and it's so good for you there's yeah, like so much good, vitamin though. c in it um, anyways it does look like a vagina but the, though but the the benefit of fruit cart which I do like because as much as I like the produce that I I like and yeah. I know where to go to get my grape all the fresh all their stuff is legit like it's always the hardest grapes or whatever but they do the assortment and variety for you so they find the things that are seasonal you don't have to like go and be like are these in Season. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to knock on the watermelon or the cantaloupe to understand if I it's ripe or not. Is that a thing? I've never. Yeah, done you got to sound. I think it's a, if it's hollow. Anyways, fruit cart is incredible. Right. Um, it's a once a week delivery. You can do fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. I do both. It's like a no brainer for me. I feel like I always have nothing in the fridge. Comes to the door, shows up. It's the best of the best. The grapes. I've never I'm had grapes uh, like yeah. this in my life. I had to cancel mine because I was on a trip or something for like a little bit. I'm gonna start it up again. This is like so good, and I'm gonna use code. Yeah, you can use the code. So we've got a code for $10 off any first time user. Um, the goods, code the goods. I actually just want to double check that to make sure that is the code. Um, that is T H E space G O O D S. No, no space, no space. Oh, T H E G O O D S, code the goods for $10 off. 
um, your first purchase. It's deliveries in the GTA. And you know what else it's good for? Um, one of my friends just had a baby and that's what oh, I got for them. that's a really good idea. Honestly, wow. for new parents, a fruit grocery delivery. Or like if someone's like home and not well. Yeah. Is that no, yeah. that's not at all. I think anytime you can do food delivery to someone who maybe doesn't have or can't go out as easily, that's a great right. gift. So it can be a one-time thing too. It doesn't have to be an ongoing. Exactly. That's awesome. Exactly. Okay, okay. guys. So the fruit cart code is the goods for $10 off your first purchase. Annie, you going to order some? Damn right. Just no papaya, please. So when we were away, we were talking about the fact that, when, so we met up with um, friends and we were all talking about the fact that we had at least one incidence with our kids in the car where we were on the highway and they had to pee and we were in traffic and could not get out. So they either peed in a bottle or in a coffee cup. Has that okay. ever happened to you with the kids? Like on the way to Hamilton? I've suggested it, whether we had to pull through. It's never um, happened. I feel like you'd remember. Yeah. I don't think I, uh, yeah, I don't think so. So we've done it, had to do it twice now. Um, we've been stuck in traffic and it's actually happened on the way to Hamilton or on the way like home. And the kids have peed in like a coffee cup because there's just, we're stuck. And then? And then that's it. Okay. So we were talking about this. And now since I've been home, I've been targeted for ads. <laughs> no guys, it's actually the, maybe it's a really smart business idea. It almost looks like a stasher bag. You know, those stasher bags that you pee in. And it's got kind of like a, a proper spout for you to go in and then you zip it up so it's spill proof and washable. Where is this from? I don't know. But now- This is I, an Instagram ad that you It's just, an Instagram ad that I'm like- Did you get like, the product yet? I haven't, but now for sure I know my phone. Like, you it ordered is, it. You ordered it. I, I'm going to because I know my phone is now going to be like, oh, we just heard that. I know. It is wild what your phone can, li what it, it just, it's actually, it, that's at the point where it's, it's so scary. It's like sick. You change it in two seconds and all of a sudden it knows. And now you're, is this your phone here, Ryan? Yeah. I'm sorry. You're going to be targeted for piss bags. And I was literally saying something. About, yeah. That's <laughs> Ryan's going to be like, why are these? And it's a woman. It's a woman who's peeing in a stash or bag. I was going to say, it depends on the gen, like uh, having little boys, I can throw them anywhere. It's kind of nice. You just go, there's a bush. Yeah, but it's more of the, it's the car it's like getting situation out and, getting and out. it's being stuck on also, the highway. Having a boy in that situation would be a lot easier. Yeah, a hundred percent. It could pee in anything. <sighs> was it a female one of your kids? Yes, that had it was. To, a, oh, it was. So, and who? It was messy. I don't want to throw out. I don't want to. I don't want to throw any one of my kids under the bus. But it was a situation, and it was a full cup load too. Like it was like got you got know, it in the cup. Got it in the cup, but like you know when Lost a pee, it's like you're better. you're you're holding it in so much, and then it like literally went to the top of the cup. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so anyways, the stasher bag would have been very useful, and I apologize, Ryan, for any targeted ads that you get. Now. There's these new things too. I saw them on an Instagram app, and it's like the coolest little thing. It's like a scissor, and anything you do, it cuts. So like, it it cut a bag. It cut a bag of water, and it sealed it. It was like, it, imagine as. A oh, it a seals zip lock, it back up. It, it, it seals it and divides it. Oh. Like, there was a bag, a, a Ziploc bag of water, and the guy was like, oh, and he cut it. And then they had two bags of water in his hand, and he did it with, like, closing something like cheese for the fridge. or hey, like this is a test. I bet you now, I didn't realize my phone was here. I'm getting asked yeah, for that. 100%. I actually want to buy that, so I'm, I'm hoping I actually get targeted for that. Yeah, it's a really good. That it's sounds a, useful. Yeah. Also, we were, we were lolling about the, well, I haven't seen it yet, but you wanted to talk about. Oh, Cocaine show. Bear. Yeah. yeah. We just watched it with, with all the my hype. two older kids. Okay. So um, give us the tea. So it's, so you know the original story, right? No. So it's based off of a, an original story where two drug smugglers smuggle cocaine okay. and they drop it out of a plane. And where it, are they flying? Uh, they're fl it, it drops over Tennessee, somewhere in the States. Okay. So they drop it. A bear eats it, dies. They're dropping to get rid of it because they're about to get caught or something? Or they're I'm just, not, it's a drop? Okay. I don't even know if they were dropping it and then going to jump out of the plane or dropping okay. it to get rid of it. Anyways, it drops out of the plane. The bear eats it and dies. And it's a true story. So Elizabeth Banks did a spoof on this. Okay. It's an amazing cast. It's got like Ray Liotta, Carrie Russell. So it's a spoof on if the bear ate it and lived and became addicted to cocaine and goes on like a what? killing spree. Who you said, Carrie Russell? Yeah, like curly it's hair, straight, straight Bob. Ooh. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, yeah. Not you never the, know what you're gonna get with her, you know. Not but, the Felicity days. Yeah, the Felicity yeah. days. Anyways, it was so we watched it with my mom and <laughs> two the older kids. kids. Okay. Uh, it was fun. It's like a funny satire. Like it's. Did they ask what? Like, did you have to explain to yeah. them cocaine? Yeah. 
and you're like, so guys, this is a drug that people like to do to feel really fucking good. No, what do we you say? Do, we we're like, it's a drug that's that is recreational. And it's can become addictive and it's illegal. And yeah, we like I find my kids ask questions where nothing is really off limits. Like we we tell it to them like it is. Right. We don't use codes word like we never use codes word code words for like vagina or penis or you know when they ask about sex it's like we kind of yeah we give it code to words. them yeah I, I don't know we've always been like that my kids weenies they're birdies oh okay don't love that don't love that code name well that's also an interesting a bird for a penis not like a a <laughs> wee wee no it was a birdie put your birdie away mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, well, that's an yeah. interesting name. Anyways, I recommend the movie. It was it was funny. It was like silly and right, kind of gory, but in like a in a campy way. Yeah, um, that also recently uh, happened. You know, in Cincinnati. <laughs> what do you so mean? So smooth. Um, no, there was a there was a cat that was filled to the brim with cocaine. Oh, the cat was. I don't know if it was a drug deal gone wrong, but they found this like massive cocaine cat in Cincinnati, like running around. The cat was the drug mule. Yeah. Huh. With stuff with cocaine. That's an interesting vehicle for drugs. I know. And like what? You're putting it up the, the ass? Well, Unless no, they're, 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 they're ingesting it. Like, did you ever see that movie Maria Full of Grace? No. Oh, great movie. You swallow it? You just swallow she, it. Well, she swallowed yeah. it in bags and then like throat throws it up. Yeah. But I don't know how the cat, I guess you force, maybe you give the cat an enema to poo it out. Yeah, I don't know. The cat looked pretty messed up in the vet bed. I was like, the, I was like, oh, that cat does not look good. I like saw the thing on Instagram. Wait, was the cat like running no, around like, like insane? Yeah, do, you guys, do you guys follow Narcity? Yeah. Okay, such good. They, 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 those headlines are so captivating. Yeah, do you know very, what I mean? Yeah. It always gets me and they're so ridiculous, but I think I probably saw it there. It was like, cocaine cat, like having a time in Cincinnati. And I was just like this. Anyways, but yeah, I guess people are stuffing animals with blow. Oh. Yeah. Um, um, what else is going on? I'm restarting my food account. Okay, that's exciting. Yeah, that's my, really exciting. my food Instagram account. I'm very excited. That's good. Yeah. I'm I'm, keeping, what are you doing with the name? I'm switching the name. Um, I don't know what I'm switching it to, but Alice, who works for us, yeah. and I'm going to give her a shout out because she just kind of launched her own um, web design business. Yeah. So for any small businesses, yeah, you need better. web, branding, She's your girl. She's amazing. So she's, she's building incredible. me like a little website with all my recipes. She's helping me revamp my IG. Oh my so, God, that's great. That will be so good yeah. for, uh, for her portfolio too. Totally. Yeah, totally. she's a total catch. That will be amazing. Well, that's really exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys want my recipes, stay tuned because- Amazing. I'm still waiting for that cookbook. I, I That's in the plan. That's in I, the- Let's go. I could use that. And can you just like do it for me? <laughs> it's like you need a chef, not a cookbook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, Working on it. Right. Fr he Hello Fresh is working for me right now, though. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And when I mean me, I do mean my nanny. And I, I'm right. fully transparent about that. I, I do not like cooking, as we know. Yeah, you but it comes and, and it's easy and it's fresh. Yeah. And it's they're yummy and they're healthy and the whole family eats them. You know what I do want your yeah. recipe for are the balls. Oh, those balls. You yeah. have that recipe? Um, I, I, I will. I shall find it. Okay. Yeah. You have. Those are the best balls that I've ever tasted. <laughs> the energy balls. Veggies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> second best balls, second no, best mean, balls in the uh, biz. Balls, who would say that would be Gross. good? Oh, I love balls. Show always, you all the balls. Always <laughs> taking things to the next level. Well, just like wouldn't it be the one area of a body part I love. Yeah, yeah. You love your balls, Ryan. I'm I'm not gonna talk about my balls on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's got boundaries. That's very good. Good for you. Neither am I. I'm not gonna talk about balls on this podcast either. Um, what else? What I else do know. we want to talk about? So actually, I know what we should talk about. So I was thinking, because your dad's birthday is coming up yep. and, you know, it's like, what do you, what do you get for people? And I was thinking, remember when we did the cameo for him? Mm -hmm. I was thinking, could we do another cameo? Because that went over really well. So we did the cameo with, um, what's her name? The, is it Susie? Yeah. Susie from Curb Your Enthusiasm. With the curly so, hair. Yeah. And, that. and she was fully in character. She was like, Fucking John, like yeah, I was like, is she it, the one who's married to what's yes, his face? Yeah, yes. okay. and so she, good, it was yeah. so good. So I was thinking maybe another cameo. I don't know if yeah. that's too repetitive. I mean, I yeah, I feel like we if we could get oh, that would be great. Yeah, but I don't. That know would be you, that'd be epic. I don't. I don't know if you could even do that. Yeah. yeah. Well, and the problem is they they a lot of them cancel last minute too. No, it's more D list celebrities. 
That's what I'm thinking. Like I, we could get like Heidi. Remember when you got asked to do a cameo? <laughs> Someone reached out through Annie and Ren and was like, hey, like, I know you're not on Cameo, but will you like leave me a birthday message? I was like, wait, did you do it? Yeah. I was like, it was actually the sweetest note. It was, can we put you on Cameo? No. <laughs> Thank you. Would you? No. What? No. Anyways, it was, yeah, it was awkward. But it was just like having a conversation one way. Like we used to do on Instagram. Right. It's like, hey, you know, I was just like, but I like needed to know a little bit about her life. But did they not? Because no, that's no, what you have to do was, with cameo. So the friend was like, "This is what why she like, like why she likes you." And like, it was cute, like about fashion. And so I like tried to relate and say a few key points. Wait, what if we did an Annie and Ren <laughs> cameo, and it was like either Lanny or me or Manchester Jan or like Ryan, like all the kind no, of John, like, like all the different, people, nah. all the different people nah. in, no. on our brand could leave a message. I'm not even, I don't care about. You think people will? Yeah, people love us that much. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. I think I it would be like kind of funny. Like we put like a W on something. Oh, our socks! It was. It's like you know, you got our socks were so popular. No, I know, but like, what we gotta walk before we run. Like the A W shit. It's like with the branding. Like you have to like, you gotta build it up a little. Yeah, you can't just like expect people to be like, yeah, love this brand. People AW wouldn't. Want people wouldn't want a like, birthday message from from Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would. I would. You but you know, we'll get one. But it's gonna be a lot of internal stuff. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I know a girl who you send it to me on my on my fortieth birthday. I know a girl who um got her friends got her a cameo from Chad Michael Murray <gasps> because they love One Tree Hill. So I was show like someone showed me this cameo and it was awkward. Like it was weird. He went on. He rambled for like seven minutes, saying like her name and all these different ways, like Alana and like. <laughs> It, like if you, I, I gotta somehow said this. Sounds it's like he was on. Sarah has or something. it. Sarah has it. Yes, so Sarah, she can show you it. I'm it is. Two days. It is really weird. Like huh. it, after you watch it, you're like, what? But, that's, what? but that's unusual because most of them, it's like two minutes long and it's quick and dirty. Sounds like Chatty was. Uh, he, gave, he gave the money's worth. Like I will say that. Like it wasn't quick, but it was like well, when you're watching point, it, but... like you're like kind of making weird faces, being like, "This is oh, God. this is weird." Like holy shit. Huh. You he got, would be on Cameo. That's not a big surprise. Yeah, all the all those people from that show are on Cameo. Right. Sophia Bush? No way. No, but like she's James Lafferty's that. on there. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think a couple of them are on there. For sure. On all it's filled with all these like all the reality, reality shows. shows. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, I actually got Laura one from um uh Southern Charm. I've tried for the last two years. They cancel. This is the problem. A lot of them cancel last minute. That's a douchebag move. Then don't be on it. Like I tried Craig Canover two years in a row, got him, and then he canceled. Um I wonder why. I know. I like, I why be on the app? Then? Yeah. It's very unreliable. He's yeah. had a lot of success with his hello sham business. <laughs> Honestly, are they still together? Him and Paige? Yeah. Yeah. I actually just Good randomly couple. saw them on uh <gasps> You know the newest couple? Have you heard about this? Is this the Vanderpump Rules drama? No, don't care about that. Not okay. into it. This is hot off the press. Celebrity gossip? Yeah. Harry Styles and Emrata. I saw. I That's saw. That's pretty good. I actually did you hear that it was his, it was like his like high school. Like It was not, no. It was like his, like when he was like in high school, it was like his dream girl. Like his dream girl was Emrata. And then scored that. I mean. I just think about Olivia Wilde and I'm like, for no, your and there's drama. to move on with M. Like, they were friends and there's all this shit that her and Olivia were like out together a lot before and now she like feels so bad because like it's hard mm. for her because she didn't mean to get blown up by the paparazzi and they've been split up, but she, mm. you know what I mean? It's hard. That's girl code. So, That's girl code. But you don't, don't know, date your I, friends. And this ex. was also, I got this on the hit. So, and this morning, it sounded like she didn't know what she was talking about, but that's, I heard there was a connection, but that's a hot fuck I've up. never seen those two together. Like cool. Olivia and Amrata. Olivia's weird though. Like I remember when she was on the OC for like the one season back in the day and she was like so hot. And then now you look at her and it's just like. Just... Yeah, she's kind of a bitch. She seems yeah. a little odd. She seems a little She seems odd. severe. Kind of seems like, did you guys watch that movie that she yeah. was in with him? She seems like kind of that character. Darling. Uh, darling love, darling home. Don't worry. Don't, Don't worry, worry, darling. darling. Yeah. It was an interesting movie. Um, and then there was all that weird drama with her. And Florence Pugh and like oh yeah, there was so much drama with that and movie. I feel like Florence Pugh seems on. like so cool yeah. and incredible, and I don't know. Yeah, she's not my favorite celebrity. No, and like Jason Sudeikis is he's the man. I don't know, but yeah, all the shit that's coming out with them with the celebrity stuff. It's like 
I don't know what to believe with any of this anymore. I mean, the nanny tell all is pretty good, but he seems like what's the nanny tell all? I don't think I heard it. Oh, like something. Remember her? Like the nanny talks shit about both of them. Mm. Oh, they were like psycho together. I don't know. I feel like time. honestly, who knows? There's probably her version, his version, and the truth like, is how somewhere could in the Ted middle. Lasso be an asshole. Ted Lasso can't be an asshole. Okay, like so we will, and we actually sorry to interrupt you, but okay. I was just gonna say we have some amazing guests coming up. Right? Yes, we do. I'm we pretty do. excited. Yeah, no, I think this is good. I like the kind of mixing between the solos of this. It's a nice ratio. Yeah, like, I don't love like having to. Well, not that I interview the person you do. I'm just like, what up? But like, it's nice. You know what I mean? Like, it feels yeah. like not, not as much breaks it up. Yeah, but and I like and I like solo episodes a lot with. When the, I, some of my favorite Foster episodes are solo episodes. Mm -hmm. you know I agree. I mean? Even though the guests are best, I just love when they. Not that this I is feel like be, people love your solo episodes. I don't from, think this is going to be a great one, but yeah, it's like fine. Yeah, but people like banter. Yeah, I like, think it's hard to follow up from some of the stories from the other week. We got some great messages yeah, that people that was, were literally laughing. That was my I, favorite episode yeah. ever. I think La the last one, the last yeah. solo one. Yeah. Well, yeah, there was some stuff exposed, <laughs> and then. Aviva, Rob's wife, is like shooting me all these pictures that I think are like from that night of like mm. my brother, me, and my mom. I'm like, it was just so funny. I was like, wow, you know what I mean? Like, I'm picturing like the outtakes from like um, what's that movie with Zach Galifianakis when they're in Vegas and they like forget everything that happened, and then there's like the camera that the hangover, like, the hangover. I'm picturing like pictures from that where Noah's like, hey, <laughs> and you're like, no, yeah. and KB's like. <sighs> It's just like literally like a series of pictures that like reveals that night. Oh my God. Yeah, it was funny. Well, and then like you said at the beginning of this episode, it's like, then you forget who kind of listens to this and you're like, oh, hey, Auntie Terry. And she's like, oh, I do remember that night. And you're like, yeah. Nah, no, it's, it's, uh, so maybe we should start building up our male following. Or Sorry. No. Well, I don't like, know. Yeah, your, we, your analytics skew highly female. Yeah. yeah. So what do we do? I don't. I, maybe we're just not for. Yeah. I don't, I don't. I don't think. Like I you think would, you're like our rate. You know, sometimes you cross the line in your brain. I think, but I think it's like the best content when you're in when you your, go a little in your R rated version zone. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Well, you know, I just it's a it's an onward <laughs> battle for me. I feel it's like true. I'm just talking to two of my friends right here. So that's why, you know, it's your it feels point. comfortable. You yeah. And also, like, I don't really give a shit. Um, okay. Well, well, I don't know. And this might not be as good as the other week's solo, but no you know pressure. what? We're just shooting the Some shit. Weeks are going to be better than listen, others. Don't listen. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a nice, you get, you get like a 30 minute <laughs> solo and then like a no, 45 wait, minute guest. Okay. Let me ask you something. If 500 people don't listen to this next week, like, are you upset? No. I don't really like it's like we're doing it regardless. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. So this isn't the best no, one. It's just, just a saying. funny way to promote it. Listen, don't listen. <laughs> listen, don't listen. I guess I'm not trying to promote it. It's just like if you know about it, tune in. If you don't want to. Deuces. Deuces. Okay. Okay. Let know. Bye. Okay, guys, thanks for listening. We'd really appreciate it if you guys could leave us a five-star review on Spotify or Apple. Thanks. <laughs>